Let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. To deep base, betray you on the poster. You know the facts, so why we test the roaster? Killer get haze, deadly handles, I'll expose you. Cool composure, team stack to win the chip. Act like I ain't told you. First round, first what's good everybody it's your boy piss and mike make sure you like share comment subscribe hit that notification bell button for your boy 68 percent of you guys are not subscribed i don't know why it don't cost you anything not even a nickel or a dime let's get into today's video before we do that click the link in the description for some cool pissing gear also go to subscribe to piss and weekly report and follow me at twitter i mr black platinum let's get into three under the radar um i want to say power forwards or forwards in this draft that should be in the pistons radar number one who's been rising off draft wars kind of um mystery guy is leonard M miller he is from canada decided to enter the nba draft this year he played at the hoop summit one of the youngest players if he decides to stay in the NBA draft. He is a very athletic combo um, for that plays very well on both ends. He showed his skill versatility scoring. He also rebounded and defended very well on his team. He showed the ability to knock down jumpers and provide facing on the floor on offense. He shows a knack for making open shots and spot up threes. He was able to make a couple of them way out. He's all he also moves without the ball well and uses a jab step way and away and moves way beyond the arc. He does also does a decent job of using dribble moves. To score during the pull-up mid-range jumper sometimes through he would make a streaky with a bit streaky with his jump shot especially struggle to make pull-up threes he often looked to score off of hustle plays particularly thrive at scoring at backdoor cuts he is an agile player that shows a good balance and body control and finish well around the basket he was able to score off a back cut he he also managed to cut to the hoop in the mixed direction play as well and then taking some contact also on a driver transition he was able to score on tip bands nearly threw down a tremendous dunk however Mi miller wildly rests himself and plays too wildly will leave him to miss on fast breaks and put bats he also showed a uh, adequate ability to score in the post as well off the dribble miller was able to drive to his left and score off the glass and also use a spin move to score on a turnaround fadeaway jump from the post sometimes though he can struggle finding a shooting touch and will also be called for offensive foul and to create separation between himself and a defender on a another drive to the hoop. Also, Miller displayed fairly fairly average playmaking um, playmaking skills. He's a flat-footed forward that can pass up and the handle in basketball. He would sometimes bring up the ball he can throw passes off the dribble and on the break he would sometimes throw solid interior passes to find open teammates he also would set ball screens to help his teammates to get wide open jump shots and driving lanes miller was also quite turnover prone in this game he would sometimes struggle handling the ball when pressured which would lean him to be prone com committing ball handling turnovers especially when he's trying to break for the break press in the backcourt break pass defense um 
He also tried to do a little advice, inaccurate jump passes in the traffic, driving to the hoop, settling out of bounds. Plus, Miller did a great job of rebounding the basketball. He would give the defensive boards. He would manage to get a couple offensive boards to help his teammates on the glass. He would sometimes bring up the ball to push it off a defensive board. He also would dive on the ground and tip balls to help his teammates get additional defensive rebounds. Very, very interesting player, you guys. Um, but the next guy we're going to get to is EJ Liddell. He's very underrated. Nobody is really talking about him, even though I know he's a first-round pick, I believe. He averaged, um, he is six foot seven, 240 pounds from Illinois. He is... He averaged 19 points a game, eight rebounds, 2.5 blocks, 40%, 49% from the field, 34% from the three, shot 76% from the free throw line. Wow. 2.6 blocks, 2.5 assists, 76% from the free throw line. Nobody's talking about this dude, man. That is absolutely crazy, you know. He might not be that off from Keegan Murray, if I'm real. Mid first, mid late first round pick. Good low score, um, good post low score, I mean. Decent score off the dribble. Decent shooter, especially from mid range. Solid playmaker, set screens for um, his, teeth and his teammates on the offense. Good rebound, solid defender, very good shot blocker, solid athlete. Streaky shooter last first step can be reluctant to take outside shots. Not leave ball handler can be foul prone. He's very strong, very mobile for forward, had a tremendous junior season. He's smart, versatile, makes sound plays on both ends of the floor who can help his team men his team win in many ways. Has been one of the most productive players in college, man. He'd be mid to late first in the 2022 draft pick. He's one of them guys that you really like, who we might be able to take a chance on. You never know. Very, very interesting guy. The last one, I think his name is Tra Trace Davis or some Jackson from um, Indiana. Strong finisher around the basket, very good low post, adequate score off the dribble, it sells at scoring on the move, Fair, fairly good rebound, De decent defender, solid shot blocker, solid athlete, um, good motor, needs to improve his face, his face up needs to improve his shooting range, can be reluctant to take outside shots, can struggle um, protecting Protecting the basketball can be undisciplined defensively, man. A bit underside to play inside. I think he is 6'9", 245. Definitely interesting. I think he can work on his shot. I don't have no problem with that. I think he scored 1,500 points during his career and at Indiana. But you guys let me know what you think. It's pissing my